Welcome to episode 1349 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Jerry Rice. Now, I bring him up because last week I was part of a book writing, writer's workshop. It's hard to describe what it was. Really just an opportunity to be a part of a book club and just jot some ideas down with fellow authors and writers. And I just want to take a pause out for this that yeah I'm, I'm an author I get to be in this fraternity mingle in this crowd right so time in and one of the exercises we're looking at who were our childhood role models right I don't want to say the word idol but we'll just put it in that context too you know, someone that you admired and for me that was Jerry Rice growing up as uh, as a Giants fan, also a Carolina Panthers fan. I, I have a, a soft spot in my heart for the 49ers, and Jerry Rice is someone I consider the greatest, among the greatest football players of all time, definitely the greatest wide receiver of all time. And the thing that stood out to me with this exercise, it was talking about, like, what were their habits what were their behaviors what were they like and but stood out to me right away was he was a guy that didn't talk trash on the field you didn't see him on ESPN or other networks or productions talking about off the field issues he was somebody who showed up to work every day someone who every t- every Sunday sometimes Mondays whatever and every game, you knew that he was focused on one thing, getting catches and scoring touchdowns, blocking as well, right? That's that's a part of the game. But his specialty, his major contribution was, I'm going to catch the ball, get yards, get touchdowns, win championships. And you look at the stats, they don't lie. <laughs> You look at the history books, they don't lie either, right? He, he checked all the boxes. But at the end of the day, he has, he was legendary for this one particular workout called The Mile. And running uphill in San Francisco and California and the blazing heat training. Other guys couldn't keep up with him. He wasn't athletic in the sense of he wasn't a, a fixture, right? He wasn't a statue. You wouldn't look at him and be like, oh my goodness, this guy is is an amazing athlete. It's just somebody who, who worked hard, blue collar, kept his head down, and excelled at everything. That's something to admire. Remember, you are born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom, and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.